Decades ago, in the 90s, NASA first proposed the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, the telescope is finally slated to launch later this year, at the end of October, as NASA unveiled its big golden telescope for the first time on Earth ahead of its planned launch. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look at the much-anticipated James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's plans to get it into space. There are many fascinating features about James Webb. This $9.8 billion telescope is regarded as the sequel or sibling telescope of its predecessor, Hubble. Not only will James Webb be the sequel to Hubble, but it will also be a tremendous upgrade and improvement from it. James Webb is going to be the largest telescope ever sent into space, meaning that it will be capable of achieving more vivid and superior resolution as it will be able to gather more light than its predecessor before it. In addition to being able to record footage in higher resolutions by gathering more light, James Webb has also been fitted and specialized for mid-infrared and rare infrared wavelengths. With this new specialization, the telescope will be able to see right through the gas and dust that typically gets in the way of other previous telescopes sent into space. NASA only revealed its Super Stargazer earlier in May 2021, in all its 21.3 feet meter glory. James Webb's primary mirror was revealed at the Los Angeles Area Facility of Aerospace Magnet Northrop Gunman, its main builder. This reveal was done during a functionality test run. The telescope mirror is an enormous multi-segmented panel that is composed of 18 hexagonal segments. Seeing as the telescope's mirror is too large to directly fit into the payload fairing of any operational rocket existent at the moment, its builders have found an alternative to ensuring that conveying James Webb into space is as seamless and unproblematic as possible. The rocket, which will launch the telescope, will carry it in a compact form until it reaches space, where the telescope will then be deployed. The test during which the revelation was made is currently undergoing and is set to be James Webb's last major test for its mirror system before it is completely set to leave Earth and fulfill its destiny in space. NASA revealed that Webb will be launched on October 31st and is scheduled to take off on the back of an Iranian space Iran-5 rocket in Karu, French Guyana. Following its departure from its home planet, James Webb will head straight for the Earth-Sun Larange Point 2. The Earth-Sun Larange Point 2, which is going to become the telescope's new home, is set to be a gravitationally stable spot in space about 930,000 miles million kilometers from our planet. The Earth-Sun Larange Point 2 is the best point for James Webb because it has been designed to observe the universe entirely in infrared light, which is what we generally refer to as heat radiation. To give Webb its best vantage point and the best chance of detecting distant, dim objects in space, the telescope and its instruments need to remain cool at the coldest temperatures possible. To assist the Earth-Sun Larange Point 2 in keeping Webb at a suitable temperature, the Super Stargazer has also been fitted with its own special custom-made sunglasses. Instead of the typical sunglasses we're used to, Webb sports a gigantic deployable size of tennis courts that shield its primary mirror. This large sunshield is made of silicon-coated and aluminium-coated captain, which will keep the primary mirror and the telescope instruments below negative 369 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 223.2 degrees Celsius. James Webb weighs approximately 13,670 pounds, 6,200 kilograms, and will be used to perform functions that cut across various fields in astronomy and cosmology. From studying the formation of the first stars and galaxies ever formed in the universe to hunting for signs of life in the atmospheres of neighboring alien planets, James Webb is going to be a phenomenon studying other fascinating phenomena in space. James Webb's Features 
Despite James Webb being much larger and functional than its predecessor telescope, Hubble doesn't have as much weight. In fact, Webb is said to have a mass that is about half of Hubble's mass, making it lighter but more efficient. The primary mirror is an impressive thing that spans a whopping 21 feet six and a half meters, of coated beryllium reflector to give it a counting area six times as much as what Hubble offers. Webb also uses 18 hexagon mirrors to get as much work as it can do. While the telescope is more mission-orientated towards near-infrared and mid-infrared astronomy, Webb can also see orange and red visible light, depending on the instrument in question. James Webb's Background Now that NASA has revealed the final launch date for Webb's space journey, the world can finally look back at how far the telescope has come and how long it has taken to reach this point of success. Since its inception in the late 90s, the project has faced a lot of setbacks and postponements due to one challenge or another. Initially referred to as the Next Generation Space Telescope, the telescope was renamed to honor NASA's second administrator, James E. Webb. The late administrator was appointed administrator of NASA and served from 1961 till 1968. He was noted for playing a vital role in the Apollo program that landed the first humans on the moon from 1969 to 1972, as well as establishing the core of the agency's scientific research. The project is a result of the joint efforts and collaboration of NASA with the European Space Agency as well as the Canadian Space Agency. In 2011, after already pumping billions into the project, the United States House of Representatives moved to cancel the project on the grounds of high cost and poor management. The budget was revised, and even then, the budget was still a staggeringly high figure, proving just how tedious and serious the project is. The launch date experienced several other setbacks and delays, and in 2020, the launch date was eventually set for March 2021. In a shocking and unfortunate series of events, the novel coronavirus came around, turning the world at large into a gigantic scale of panic and frenzy with the COVID-19 pandemic. With the pandemic ravaging the world, NASA announced that the James Webb Telescope would not be able to meet its stipulated March 2021 deadline. Despite being pushed back so many times, space enthusiasts and the world at large can now finally look forward to a specific date. Mark your calendars, October 31st is that date. And there you have it guys, if you love this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel where we give you the latest tech and science updates. We'll see you in the next video.